hair I'm back. I know I keep disappearing, but um, I'm back with a haul. So now that I've got together everything that I've bought, I've either been buying a lot or I just haven't spoken to you guys in a long time. I think I'm just going to go with the latter rather than me spending a lot of money. So let's get into it. Start with a couple of MAC lipsticks. Now I thought I'd already showed you these to you, but obviously I haven't because I've looked through my videos and I can't see them anywhere. So um, yeah, I went to my MAC counter and I stood there and every time I go to my MAC counter because it's a long way away, I always have to buy a lipstick, but this time I bought two. So um, they're not new, they're in the permanent line, but I don't know, I just kind of think that's better because you know there's nothing worse than someone going, what are you wearing? You go, oh, you can't get it anymore, I hate that. So I bought Viva Glam 5 which is just beautiful and you probably know that the proceeds of the red Viva Glam lipsticks um, bar tax they will go to the uh, Mac Aids fund so I don't know why I didn't pick this up before it's such a beautiful everyday colour and it goes with so many different eye looks so that's Viva Glam 5 and then I picked up Sequin which is it's kind of, I suppose, a traditional winter colour, but I've been wearing it for the summer and it just looks stunning. A little bit deeper, well a lot deeper than Viva Glam 5. So that's Viva Glam 5 and Sequin. Absolutely stunning. I love these types of colours. They're my absolute favourite. While I'm kind of talking about stuff that's a little bit more expensive, um, Space NK opened in my city. Now there has never been a Space NK near me anywhere. So um, that was really exciting and I went, I wasn't going to go in actually, but I passed the store and they were standing there and they were offering us, um, you know, pink champagne and I thought, oh, what the hell. So glass of pink champagne later and this came home with me. It had to. They've got so many beautiful um, companies in there. It's only a little store this one um, in my city but they've got so many beautiful stands and it's just like it's mecca it's so stunning and I knew that I had to buy something because you know why not I mean I just had to buy something so I picked up the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector the pressed one they also do a uh, poured one which is like a cream highlighter but I don't really like cream highlighters I've tried my best but I don't like them so I picked up the one in pearl I believe pearl oh and that is actually what I have on as my highlight today. It is the most stunning look at it. Just, oh, and it looks like this. I just, I'm in love with it. I'm absolutely in love, look at that. I'm absolutely in love with it. It is the prettiest pure white highlighter. And I justified buying this because I don't actually have a pure white highlighter. I have like pinky based ones and gold ones and the MAC Light Scapade that I love, I wear a lot, is kind of like a yellow toned one. So I thought, right, I have to buy it because I don't have one like it. And that was the justification. So these are just beautiful. This is actually like my first Becca purchase. I purchased a couple of the eyeshadows before, but um, that was from places like Fragrance Direct. So I was very happy with this. And because I'm so sad, I kept the bag. <laughs> While I'm talking to you about kind of new makeup brands or new makeup brands that have kind of been made accessible to me, I thought I would talk to you about NYX. Now NYX have come to the boots near me and I'm so excited because NYX used to be all the rage and they all, you know, they were, they were such a big thing in America and you can get them over here. And now you can get them without ordering online because I just can't be bothered to order things online. The shades look different and you never know what you're gonna get. So most beautiful NYX stand opened up so I've spent like an hour there. <sighs> Sad isn't it? I know but anyway so the first things that really caught my eye were the butter glosses which is very very strange for me because I don't like lip gloss. I have so many lip glosses that have gone off because I don't wear lip gloss so this is a little bit of a changing lane type of thing for me because I don't like lip gloss but these have absolutely changed my opinion of that the one I have on at the moment is creme brulee and oh my god they're not like glosses nobody told me this nobody told me they weren't like glosses I've just I've never tried them before what is this hair doing I'd never tried them before and I'm just completely in love I'm going to buy them all so I have that one on today creme brulee with this lip liner. By the way, if you are looking for a lip liner that is absolutely 100% similar to the Urban Decay ones, if a little bit creamier, then go and pick up the NYX um, 
These are the Sloydon lip pencils. The, they do also do retractable ones, but this one I picked up because this is in nude suede shoes and I don't actually have like an everyday lip liner because I'm not a big lip liner person either, but this has changed my opinion. So this is nude suede shoes and this is what I have on with creme brulee. Oh my god, this lip liner is amazing. It is waterproof, smudge proof. You don't have to touch it up. So I have these two on today and they go so well together stunning. Um, so I picked up one of those liners and the first one I actually picked up is one of the intense butter glosses because I was still really dubious about the whole lip gloss thing. This one is in trailer shape. Oh my god. These are out of this world and they really are super intense. Absolutely. So that's trailer shape there. Oh my god. I've worn this non-stop ever since I got it. The only thing about the Intense Butter Glosses is that there aren't that many everyday shades. So I don't know whether they're going to expand on that, maybe not, but there aren't that many like, you know, shades like this. They're kind of, they do purples and oranges and stuff, but um, yeah, this is my absolute go-to. So I've been wearing that non-stop since I got it. And then I picked up another Intense Butter Gloss because you know me, and this one is Sorbet. And I haven't worn this yet. I only got it yesterday. I haven't worn this yet. Whoa. But I'm looking forward to wearing this because it's kind of like a corally pink. So that is Sorbet. Stunning. Super stunning. I also picked up yesterday because you remember when their round lipsticks used to be like the thing. Everybody loved their round lipsticks. I picked up uh, yesterday Summer Love round lipstick and I got it home. And I opened it and I realised that Summer Love I'd already bought many moons ago and didn't like. It's too pale for me so I don't know whether it was just I was just caught up in the excitement but it's too pale for me. However my mother saw it and went oh it's gorgeous and so it's gone off with her. It's in her purse with her so at least somebody got some use out of it but yeah summer love lipstick i don't know what it is because i'm, I'm it must be the same thing that i keep experiencing with this lipstick because i've bought it twice and i've disliked it twice i nearly forgot about these things i bought some face stuff from nyx as well uh the first thing i bought is the above and beyond full coverage concealer my shade is in light and i remember ordering this many moons ago little pot concealer and loving it um now I wouldn't say it's full coverage, that's the one thing. It's kind of medium coverage. I've got it on today under my eyes and various other places, but I really wouldn't say it's full coverage. So if you're thinking, oh my God, you know, it's gonna make me look like 10 years younger and cancel out all my flaws, no. And I would also say if you've got dry skin, probably not a good idea, but I am going to go back, obviously I am, and buy the HD Photogenic Concealer in the wand. Cause I'm more of a wand concealer type of girl. But this is a lovely concealer. It's very nice, don't get me wrong. It's a really nice concealer. It's fab. Um, but I think I'm going to go and get the HD Photogenic because I'm more of like a, a wand concealer person. And then finally from NYX, whoops. Finally from NYX, I picked up one of their baked blushes. It's a blush illuminator and a bronzer in one. I'm not quite sure how that is, uh, but it is apparently. And this one is in chiffon. And I have it on today. Isn't it pretty? I love colours like this. There's a theme here because I love colours like this for blushes and I love colours like this for lipsticks. It's so freaking pretty. Oh, wow, it is stunning. It reminds me of the Max Factor Creme Puff blushes which are my absolute favourite of all time. Hand down. But it's, um, they're a little bit creamier but still this is such a beautiful colour. Couple of things that aren't NYX related. Um, I picked this up yesterday. It's the Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in Rock On World. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I haven't used it yet, but I swatched it. What am I doing? Why can't I open it? I swatched it. <gasps> look at I me, mean, look at that. Oh my god, I'm such a sucker for stuff that's baked. It's just, I'm just a sucker for things that are baked. Look at that. Oh my god. And this is four pounds. I mean, how you just, you can't beat that price. So that is like amazing. You could use it as an eyeshadow as well. And then I also picked up, oh, caps not on. Um, I also picked up the Rimmel Scandalized Precision Micro Eyeliner. 
long lasting waterproof, smudge proof. This is in the black. 24 hour wear apparently and I've got it on today. Now I've been using this for a couple of weeks because my physician's formula 2-in-1 um, eye booster liner, I think it's called, ran out and I had three of them. A subscriber very kindly sent me three of them many moons ago again and it's finally run out. But I can't find a dupe for it so if anybody knows a dupe for that that you can kind of get in the UK please let me know. But I thought well I'll give this one a try because the tip seemed really precise but the only problem is it's a felt tip. The only problem is that I can see it now, it's got like a, I don't know whether you guys will be able to see, right at the very tip. You see it kind of bends, do you see that? Which doesn't seem like it'd be such a big problem but it, it means that when you're trying to do a straight line it kind of skips. You know, it's got like a little tiny bit of bending there in the tip, so. Mm. But other than that it's a really great liner, I mean it's really nice but it it kind of causes it to put colour down where you didn't think it was going to go. That's the only trouble with that, so. It's nice, it was cheap, but I, w I don't think I'd buy it again, so that was my remorse. A few nail polishes. Um, this one I'll start with because I have it on now and I've absolutely fallen in love with it. That's what I have on my nails at the moment. This is from the Kylie uh, Jenner, yeah, Kylie Jenner Signature Collection. Such an old lady. <laughs> what? Kylie Jenner Signature Collection with Simful uh, Colours. This is the Simful Shine range with gel technology. And this one is in Slay Grey, which is a cool name, I like that. And I didn't buy it because of Kylie Jenner, because, but I bought it because I love the colour and oh my god, look at it. This is freaking awesome. I've had this on for like a week and it hasn't chipped. It's showing oh, it's tip wear, but it doesn't chip amazing for three pounds and then I picked up the Maybelline Colour Show 60 second nail polish and this one is in Rose Chic and I pretty much picked this up because it was buy one get one half price and I didn't really need anything else because I bought my powder um, as well which is the Maybelline Superstay. Yeah, so I went in just to buy this because I'd used my other one and the shade I have is in 10 Ivory. It's the Superstay Longwear Matte Waterproof Powder Oh man, this where has this powder been on my life? I've gone through one already and it's fantastic. It's really nice and pink based. It just blurs out every single flaw you've got. It's amazing. I wouldn't say it's long wearing matte though. And I think I've said that to you guys before. It's not long wearing matte, but it's very, very nice. So I picked that up just because I thought it was pretty. The only problem is it's a right cow to get off because it's really big chunks of silver glitter. But there we go, we suffer for our art. And then Barry M. Um, this is amazing. This is the Speedy Quick Dry Nail Paint, and this one is super sonic. Oh, I hadn't seen it before. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is something I've been wearing a lot as well. It's freaking awesome. It's gorgeous and not too difficult to get off. The other one I got from the Speedy range is Freestyle, which is just a light kind of milky pink stunning colour, really lovely. And then I have one of the metal ones, hang on, uh, the molten metal ones, and I have this on my toes but I'm not going to show you my feet, don't worry. And this one is in uh, Bronze Bay. Oh man, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. A magpie out here, it's peeing down with rain by the way, and this poor magpie looks like a little wet fish, it's so funny. Um, so yeah, I have that one as well, which is awesome. <gasps> But not as awesome as Slay Grey, come on. Not as awesome as this colour I've got on my nails, no way. Another makeup thing that I totally forgot about, because I'm not really impressed with it. God, I've been rambling for a long time. Um, it's the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer. In light. The only thing I've been using this for is to sculpt out my brows, because I don't like it. It comes with a powder, which I don't really like, and two different colours of concealer, and two different consistencies. But as you can see, I've just been dipping my brush and just sculpted up my brows with this. They don't really like it. It's no way is it worth the £8, in my opinion. Um, is it £8? Was it 10 It was some ridiculous price, anyway. It's just not worth it. But I have been using it to sculpt up my brows because I can't just, like, throw it in a drawer. No. So, yeah. Um, 
quickly, quickly. This I picked up after, like, you know, being completely stupid for years. Um, Nikki Tutorials, who I don't actually watch, but I do remember at the time she went on about this, and then Kylie Jenner said that she came up with the idea of this, and everyone went, what? It's the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm, no alcohol in it, and this is, I, is used by women as a primer for your face, and it's fab. It's great, it really does work. It's a brilliant primer, it's about four pounds, it's absolutely fantastic. Glass bottle. The only problem is it kind of smells very manly, but that goes away after it's dried. So you can't have everything, but if you haven't tried this as a face primer, my God. You know, I mean, it's not, f it's not like, oh my God, it's done things I never thought that a primer would do, but it's definitely as good as my high-end primers. So try that out. Another skin care type thing, this, these bottles are so ugly aren't they? This is the Garnier Body Tonic, the firming hydrating lotion, smoother looking skin from seven days with phytocaffeine and seaweed extract for normal skin, fast absorbing. This smells lovely, it is fast absorbing. I bought it for my stretch marks, nothing works with my bloody stretch marks. Nothing, 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 nothing. Um, and I mean this is, <laughs> sidebar, this is very nice but I don't think it's going to help my stretch marks but that's what I bought it for. It's lovely, it's really nice and it is very hydrating but mm. um, another kind of, kind of skincare related thing, well it is skincare related, it's the L'Oreal Revitalift Magic Blur. This is a primer, anti-aging daily moisturiser and instant blurring effect. This is lovely. Um, I've had this for a while now. It smells amazing, you don't need to use too much. It's a really nice primer. Um, perfect for people if you've got dry skin, oily skin, whatever, it's absolutely lovely, really nice. I bought it because it was an offer, but I would buy it again at full price, it's a really nice product. And one kind of, whoops, one kind of bath type thing. This is the Sanctuary Spa Cooling Glacial Scrub, um, an ultra refreshing and skin smoothing body scrub with sea salt, aloe vera and cucumber water, and it is actually, when you go to wash it off in the shower, it does go a little bit cool, it's fantastic and it smells like heaven. I could eat it. It kind of smells like sorbet. Amazing stuff, I love this. I haven't used sanctuary stuff for ages actually, but that is really nice. A couple of hair care things, then I will leave you because I've been rambling. Um, I picked up the L'Oreal LV Fibrology Thickness Creation Double Serum. Looks like this. I'm not convinced it really does make your hair look any thicker, to be quite frank with you. It's a nice product and it gives a nice shine. Uh, I don't know, I mean I have pretty thick hair anyway, but I just kind of wanted it to kind of give my hair a boost. Or maybe it does, I don't know, but I, I'm not sure. The thing is you're supposed to put this through the lengths of your hair, um, and you can use it on wet or dry hair. I'm not convinced it really does miracles, but it's certainly a nice little product. It gives your hair a bit of a lift. And then the other hair product I picked up is the Umberto Giannini Frizzy Day After Day After Day Three Day Frizz Free Hair Extreme Taming Spray with Weatherproof Formula. So what you're supposed to do with this is you're supposed to put this on towel dried hair, then blow dry your hair, and apparently it gets rid of frizz. Or you can use it just before you go to use um, styling tools on it and I did that yesterday and it's nice the only problem is it's really sticky when it goes on and you think that you're never ever ever gonna have dry hair again um, it looks like this I picked it up because it was on offer it's a nice product I'm not convinced it really does exactly what it says on the tin but it, it's nice I mean it, it it really looks nice after you've straightened your hair I straightened my hair yesterday but it's raining now so of course you know my hair is <laughs> but it's a nice little product I will continue with it to see whether I actually like it or not um, this is kind of boring, Batiste Dry Shampoo, Coconut Exotic Tropical, love it, hadn't had it for years um, and I decided to pick it up just to see if I still liked it, I do, it's great. And then, one more thing, one more thing, this is fabulous, this is the Rapid Pedi Electronic Foot File from Superdrug, this is awesome. It's, I paid about 13.50 for it, 13.33, but my memory's really good, isn't it? Um, but I, I don't think it's much more than that, generally. I think it's about 18 pounds. This, this is really brilliant. It's fantastic. I've never tried the shoal or anything because they're just, I don't know, it's just, I think it's a waste of money for me personally. Um, but I really have used this a lot and I love it. It comes with two different heads. It comes with a rough head and the normal one. It's, it's really, it's just such a great product. So if you're kind of wondering about going into the world of, you know, foot files, try this one first before you spend a, a shed load of money on the shawl because it's, I think it's just as good, to be perfectly honest. Um, it certainly looks it. So I think 
I think I'll shut up now because I think that's everything. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I hope it didn't bore you. Um, yeah, and I will be back very soon. I will, promise. I will be back very soon. I won't leave it three weeks like I did last time. There's just a lot going on with me at the moment. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I, I will be back very soon um, to share uh, the Um Decay Vice reloaded palette with you <laughs> that's it the 20 year one um yeah so i'm waiting on that i'm very excited for that so i hope you guys keep them really well leave me a comment and tell me what you've been doing with yourselves and i will see you very very soon bye everyone